Highway 3232. Go to 34 seat. 49-year-old female snap to the back. No further info. Oh, bueno. It just got real serious real quick. Yeah, so she can be all up at the hill. 32, 32, and they're looking. We pull up to the scene, and we kind of just call out, hey, do we have a patient? And we see this big, tall guy stand up and say, yeah, I'm your patient. Can you come right down here, baby? We can get you on a stretcher. Here, Not exactly what I was expecting, but, you know, hello, regardless. This is all the knife. Yeah. I got the best for him. What kind of knife was it, baby? Was it a kitchen knife, a steak knife? A steak, look like a steak. Right. You gonna meet him up there? You can't ride with it, baby. You can't go with me. Mm-mm. No, baby, nobody can ride. You can ride him. Uh-uh. You can meet him up there, though. This guy wants his significant other to ride. In these situations, we do not do that because everything seems cool now. I don't know what happened. So nobody rides. You don't look like a female with me. Uh-uh. Yeah, I look like a no, he said you don't. Our dispatcher told us it was a female. Yeah, said. I am a female. I'm just homosexual. Okay. What? A... No, but baby, technically, <laughs> for medical <laughs> purposes. <laughs> What's your name, Patrick? You said? Yeah. They right. call me the Diva. They call you Diva? Yes. All right, Diva. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, one over here. Two. Okay, one. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. You got to relax. Relax your arm. Get some vitals real quick, and then we're ready to roll. The only injury that I can find is just a single stab wound. The upper back, he's not bleeding. He doesn't appear to be in any obvious respiratory distress. We want to transport him to the trauma center. How long ago did this happen? Just now? About five or 10 minutes ago. What y'all beefing over? Because I'm a homosexual. He got this punk ass <laughs> so cool out of life on me because I got the best of y'all. Well, I hope you got him good at least, but you know who it was, so please come yes, go I get him then, right? Don't play with me, baby. That's my bad. Female, but I have the male instincts, too. Great. It's a city that a lot of people come to because a lot of things are accepted. Well, hey, Diva. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Doing good. If you have a homophobic tendency or you're racially prejudiced, you're going to have a hard time here because people come here to celebrate whatever the hell they want to be, and we accept that here. And if you can't accept that, then you need to get the hell out of here because there's no place for you. Got a little reminder not to turn your back on somebody you just beat the hell out of, I guess. Right. Right. But Diva gonna live to keep on Diva. Right. 32, 32, 47-year-old male stepped twice to the back. And for a male step twice to the back? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tossing your liver around. It's all right. It's all right. My liver's pretty healthy. I haven't drank much lately. It's repairing itself, preparing for justice. Right. Friday, you go down this road, I'll be like, ooh. Is that what it is? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. All right, 32-32 on scene with PD. What up, Mama? We pull up to the scene, and we kind of have to search around a little bit to actually find the patient. Is he able to walk? The first thing I notice is just a trail of blood, you know, in the grass, on the concrete, on the steps, and then inside of the home. Nick, yeah. I'll be in the back of the truck. All right. As we walk in, we see the patient walking down the stairs, which is obviously a good sign. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two million to count. He's got about 13 to the back and a good four or five, six on the side. Look at that morning scab wound. Yep. Any kind of upper torso area, when you have wounds, you want to make sure it didn't puncture the lung. You want to make sure that it didn't puncture an artery so they're bleed out. You want to make sure that those things are taken care of first. Drop them in when we get in there. We got a lot of bandaging to do. He's got about 13 to the back. 12 to the side. And a, a good Left side. four or five, six on the side. Look at that morning scab wound. Yep. You got a whole bunch, baby. I particularly don't know how well I would be walking around and talking with 20-some-odd stab wounds. This guy's doing a, a great job at, you know, staying alive. Oh, my stomach's doing so bad, man. 
All right, baby, we're gonna take care of you, okay? All right, somebody hand me a tourniquet over here. He's complaining of stomach pain, so he could be bleeding internally. No, I know, I know. Uh, uh, oh. Take a deep breath for me, right? He lives, lives in the Hold on, take some deep breaths real quick. Take some deep breaths. One of the things we do before we're covering these wounds is checking to see if we can see any air coming out, because that would kind of clue us into the fact that these may have penetrated the chest cavity far enough to collapse the lung because that could be fatal to him. What was he wearing? Hold on, let me have this arm. Let me have this arm. I don't know. He's homeless. Does he have tats? Any kind of something that's going to make him know it's him? No, I don't. All right, Y'all got a line over there yet or what? The guy just got out of jail. He ain't been out of jail three weeks. He said some dude that just got out of jail came over. Apparently, he got to a scuffle with the guy, ended up the guy had a knife, and the guy was on the bottom just stabbing him on the right side and in the back. You ready, Ben? Yep. Let's go. Right. I'll give it to you in a second. Does this hurt? It hurt, Ben. All right, one of y'all are going to have the whole pressure on that so he doesn't eviscerate. Keep your hand on it. Allergic to anything? Stab wounds. Anything else? Any medicines? I didn't even know I got stabbed. What a douchebag. I agree with you. That was a very douchey move. 32, 32, out of the hospital. What's up, home slice? What was the final counter? 23 hole stab wounds. So the dude said he couldn't <laughs> see the knife because he was fighting with him the whole time. Right. I was like, bruh, you're going to have to learn how to fight or run better because 23 right. times? Woo. We were on scene for five minutes and 14 seconds. But you know what? That's repetition. We get, we have, there's so much trauma in this city that we have to be the bomb.com. Yep. As usual. Rocked it out. 3220, code 3, 34C in the third. Somebody stabbed. They're out. Got go. It's count three, the person that did it is no longer at the location. We waiting on code four. That's the hood, though. How you want to make the play? You want to go in? The color we get was at a local dagger shop. Very familiar with this dagger shop. It's pretty much in the hood. The scene might not be safe. I'm going in, man. Good the female over here? All right, then. What's going on? Ooh, yeah, you're gonna need some stitches, mom. You know, two females got in a verbal argument and one pulled out some type of blade and stabbed another person. What you gonna have to, baby? Look at your arm. Her arm was slit open. You can see the fatty tissue coming out. I'm gonna have a seat over here, sweetheart. Sit, sit down. Oh, my lord. This is one of her friends that did this, so that adds a whole nother level of emotion. It's okay. I know, baby. It's all right. Oh, deep breaths, okay? You're gonna be fine. If I didn't believe that, I would not tell you that. You know, you want to calm her and get her heart rate down and get all those things that could potentially exacerbate bleeding. And calming is sort of an important part of the job. This don't hurt my nose. This it's not, no, it's not. That's why I want you to listen to me about it. I'm a nurse. I work in the hospital, too. We numb stuff like that. You will not feel that, OK? I promise. I would not lie to you, OK? You'll be in and out real quick. And just as when we finally get in the calm down, I'm you ain't gonna feel that. This cat just jumps in the ambulance and starts yelling at her, making the situation much worse. You got to get it. You ain't gonna feel that. We're going to take her to university. We need you to calm, bro. Calm now. I want you to listen to me, sweetheart. I don't want your nerves to get bad. But you ain't going to say Shake, Turns out this guy is her friend. And he means well. He's just trying to talk her into going to the hospital. But he's so excited that really all he's doing is getting her more riled up when really what she needs to do is calm down. Let's, let's take care of your good If he wasn't going to get away from us, we need to get away from him. You're not going to feel the whole thing. You'll be in and out real quick, OK? She's got a little puncture, dude. Yeah, you got a little puncture hole. Is that the only one? I don't know. She did have a poke to the chest. When they have something in her chest like that, doctors want to see that immediately. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get y'all's asses in. We'll numb it before they stitch it, I promise. <laughs> No, 
That's not how we fix things, baby. I don't want to hear that noise about how you're going to cause more problems, OK? You let the police handle that. How many times you see all this stuff on the news about people getting involved with this stuff and it don't end right? I don't want to hear that noise. Could have killed me. Yeah, but you know what? She didn't, and I'm happy about it. As long as you promise me you're not going to go down the same road with it. Baby, that's the stuff we got to change here. Yeah, you know that. Um, like on the way to the hospital, she's like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her. I'm, I, you know, I, I got never her. Stop. It's gonna right. keep going. And so then she's gonna do something with her, and then one of her people is gonna do the same thing and be coming back for her. That's not what I wanna hear. I wanna hear that you're gonna let the police department do their thing. How would you feel if I stabbed you? Would we be able to overcome that? Nah, I'll be good. Yeah? Your wife would be a widow, but. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently this guy is unresponsive and stabbed in the chest. So. Right. 10 forward to 97 area. Come on, Jay, wake up, bro. Is he talking to you, Carl? Hey man, we're gonna sit you up, okay? Sit up. Sit up, sit up, sit up. There you go. We got right, we got you, man. Put your hands on your chest. Put your hands on your chest. Ready? One, two, three. We got you, my man. We got you. There you go. Oh, yeah, I see it. You got two, you got two punctures to the chest. But we get them loaded on the stretcher. I'm not even looking at this kid's face. You know, my thing is, I'm looking at the holes he has in his chest. They've stabbed twice. Blood is pouring everywhere. We know we have to go. We got you, dude. You're going to be all yeah, right. Yeah, we got you, man. We got, we got you. you. What's your name, my friend? I went to school with you. Uh, what's up? It's Titus, man. I went to school with this guy. Immediately, this call goes from being professional to personal. What's up, man? Look, look, I'm going to hold you down. I'm, yeah, it's me. Look, I'm not going to let nothing happen to you. <laughs> yeah, I need you to calm down. I got you, man. I promise you. <laughs> Titus, monitor. I got you. I got you. Look, a lot of things going to be happening, but I just need you to keep talking to me, all right, yo? You got the best on you, all right? I'm gonna cut your pants, all right, man? Hey, you all right. You got kids, man. I already know that. We know each other too long for this, bro. Bro, I promise I won't let nothing happen. We're doing everything we got. You got the best. It's time man. to go. That's what scene time is. Oh. I mean, because we got a lot going on right there. I know right now I have to be professional and do my job because that's what's going to save my friend's life. 3220, we at the hospital. Good. Uh, that's Titus right. is taking you out, OK? Who's his last pressure? 140 over nine. Okay. Yeah, he's still doing good. This is where all the best doctors are. There's going to be a lot of doctors asking you a bunch of questions all at the same time, OK? You got to stay awake and answer them, all right? Yo, man, that kid we just picked up, man. Been knowing this since back in the day, D. We just cut, cut classes together back in the ninth grade. Really cool cat, you know? When you re when you recognized him? Usually when I get up to a patient, I'm not seeing faces. It's just seeing what I have to do. So I'm going through everything in my mind. So once we got him in the truck and I realized he was kind of stabilized, I want to get that blood pressure, that's when I actually looked down at his face. I'm like, oh, shit. I know this kid. I guess New Orleans is so small, and the job we do, you never know who you're run up, you know, running to. That's why. Like, calls like that make this more than a job, you know what I mean? So you really Yeah, you can tell like, it hits you at home a little bit with that Dude, one. you know, I mean, I wasn't expecting to see it. Usually, you know, we prepare for a lot of stuff, for seeing somebody you know. I think no, him knowing you was that kind of, he asked a couple of times on the way to the hospital right. if you were still in the truck. All right. And everybody should know, man, you don't die in my truck, dude. You die on your own time, man, you know what I mean? 30 to 32, contact unknown age, male, half, or close range, and fire. We get a call for a 34C, which is a stabbing victim, near the casino. This is where the drama's at. Right. Which is what I'm down with. Why are you always down for the drama? I need a story. Mm. I feel like if I'm going to get myself involved in a situation in which I need an ambulance mm. at the end of the night. Yeah, it better be drama. There, it, it's got to be a good story. Right. right. If I say, oh, yeah, you know, I was visiting New Orleans and I just tripped on a crack in the sidewalk, it's like, oh, you want to be a cast for that? You trip over air all the time? No. What happened to me was an OPD starts chasing somebody, hops a fence, runs through the parking lot that I'm in, and then three chickens run by that's running from a Rottweiler that knocks me over and breaks my leg. That is quite the story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
We get there, he's awake talking, so that's a good sign. All right, you want to cut this? Oh, OK, me. then take it off. I'll take it off. Right he lifts his shirt, and he's got several stab wounds to his torso and arm. Arr, that one hurt. OK, your belly hurt at all? Mm. He's got four. Where's your idea, man? I got a food stamp yeah. card. That's all I got. Oh. Okay. All right, Barry, do me a favor, baby. Stop yelling. We in a box, OK? We can hear you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, Barry, you got any medical problems at all? Yeah, I just stabbed. Relax your arm. Did you say exactly where it happened? No. It, it right sounds like it was over there. Right over there. At the, the I need you to relax your yeah, arm. Right, right on the, right on the I need you to relax your arm. We can see signs of wounds. You can't really tell how deep they are. But without an x-ray or without proper medical care, it could get bad. Me and my uh, buddy Floyd, we were just sleeping, and, and all of a sudden, this guy come up and tried to rob me. And, and, and he started stabbing me. Yeah, I started whooping out his ass. What did he stab you with? I don't know what he stab me with. So he's like doing this? Oh, yeah. You think you're cool with the radiation? He didn't get Floyd, too, did he? I hope not. I hope he didn't get Floyd. I, Does this hurt? Oh, yeah. All right. Real bad. 32, 32. Yes, ma'am. All right, any alcohol drugs tonight? Yeah, I drank some alcohol. That's all good. I ain't judging, just got to ask, that's all. Your pressure's better than mine, man. Something's working for you. 32, 32 at the trauma center. Your driver sucks. Yeah, tell her that when you <laughs> do me a favor, and you tell her that when you when she opens the door, no, right? No, no, I don't think I'll do that. I got you back, bro. I'm bigger than her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Uh, don't worry, she ain't got no knives. I pat her down before every shift. <laughs> Thank you. You ain't getting stabbed again tonight. Holly can barely see over the steering wheel, which is why she hits the bump so hard. He want to tell you something. You're a rough driver. <laughs> I didn't know about the bumps. I didn't make the streets. Yeah, but you make how fast you drive over the top of them things, though. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. They're not dead. I can work with that.